Today we're going to be looking at the all new 2018 Buick Regal Tour X, but before we dive into the specifics, I wanted to cover why this vehicle exists at all. And to do that, I'm going to use a Venn diagram. Now in this circle here, we have what Americans hate, wagons. And in this circle, we have what Americans love, good marketing. And this bit here in the middle is where the Tour X lives. Now anyone with eyes can see that this is a wagon, but some genius marketer realizes they could sell this to wagon hating Americans as a crossover if they just lifted the suspension, added four wheel drive, and put on some cladding. Now Buick isn't the first automaker to come up with this scheme, it's just the latest. This segment already includes the Audi Allroad, the VW Alltrack, and the daddy of them all, the Subaru Outback. However, there are a few things that set the Tour X apart from the off-road wagon crowd. The first is it's just massively long. At 196 inches in length, this is 6 inches longer than a Subaru Outback and over a foot longer than a VW Alltrack. This is even 3.5 inches longer than a 3-row Toyota Highlander. Buick could have called this the Regal Tour XL. The upside of all that length is a really spacious cargo area. Now this actually has a little bit less cargo room than the smaller Outback with the second row seats in place, but it's still massive in here. And if you fold down the seats, this actually has more cargo room than a Subaru Outback, which means this is the perfect vehicle for your next rugged adventure to the big box store, as I shall now demonstrate. That should last me the week. Another thing that differentiates the Tour X from the pack is ground clearance. This simply doesn't have much. When VW launched the Alltrack, it was widely panned for only having 6.65 inches of ground clearance, which is over 2 inches less than the Subaru Outback. Well, this Buick is jealous of the VW. It only has 5.8 inches of ground clearance. To put that into perspective, a Dodge Viper has 5 inches of ground clearance. I'm not even sure this thing could clear a cantaloupe. Oh, well apparently it can. Another thing that sets the Tour X apart is what's under hood. This is a 2 liter turbocharged 4 cylinder engine. That's actually not that unusual for the segment. And it's got 250 horsepower, which is also in line with the competition. But this has a class leading 295 pound feet of torque. That's as much as you get from a much more expensive Volvo V90, which uses a turbocharged and supercharged 4 cylinder engine. And you can really appreciate that pep from behind the wheel. Low down, there's plenty of grunt to get this moving from a stop. And that turbo's got enough puff to make this Tour X a competent two-lane passer. And this eight-speed transmission also works well. Normally, it kind of just shifts smoothly in the background. You don't even notice it. But when you need it to, it'll kick down a gear or two to give you the power you need. In addition to that turbocharged engine under hood, the Tour X also has a sophisticated dual clutch all wheel drive system that can send up to 100% of the engine's power to just one wheel. That means this should be pretty sure footed in the snow, but should also be an absolute hoot to hoot on a gravel road. Let's see about that last part. I call that a hoot. The Tour X is also nice to drive sensibly. That lack of ground clearance may be an issue for off-roading, but it makes it better on-road since it lowers the car's center of gravity, which improves handling. This just feels much more nimble than your average small SUV, despite the fact that it's roughly the same length as a city bus. And even though the suspension on this is only about an inch higher than that of the normal Regal Sportback, you can really tell that that extra bit of suspension makes for a more comfortable ride. And that comfortable ride is nicely complemented by a well-appointed interior, and it better be. You can load up a Tour X of $41,500, which is about two grand more than a comparable Subaru Outback. Now, I'll let you guys debate whether this is worth more than a Subaru, but it does feel nice in here. You get this easy-to-use infotainment system that also runs Apple CarPlay. You get some soft-touch materials, some nice stitching. Overall, it just feels very European in here, and that makes sense. This was actually co-developed with Opel before GM decided to pull the plug in that relationship. 
Backseat passengers have it pretty good too. You get some air vents, a couple of USB charging points, and even with this chair in its normal position, I still have enough legroom. And even though this car has the optional panoramic sunroof, I still have enough headroom too. And while we're on the subject, this panoramic sunroof is absolutely massive. When you open the sunshade, it really does brighten up this interior. It's just too bad that Opel didn't let Buick have this for the Enclave. So there it is, the 2018 Buick Regal Tour X, the latest wagon to get the crossover treatment. I think Buick did a really good job with this. Overall, I think that's a sharp looking vehicle and it looks a lot sportier than a comparable SUV. It's also roomy with plenty of trunk space for all your impulse bulk purchases. And that turbocharged two liter under the hood has plenty of punch and still offers a respectable 24 miles per gallon in mixed driving. A lack of ground clearance means you won't be taking the Tour X too far off the beaten path, but I suspect this four wheel drive system them will be more than enough for the vast majority of buyers. If you're in the market for a mid-size SUV, this might be an interesting alternative. Just be ready to explain to your neighbors why it's not a station wagon.